Hello kids, today we are going to learn about Light, Shadow and Reflection, Part 1, Chapter 11. And the topics we are going to discuss, definition of light, properties of the light, importance of light, reflection of light, color of light and sources of light. What is light? Light is an electromagnetic wave that we can detect. In year 1865, Scottish scientist James Clerk Maxwell proposed this, that light is an electromagnetic wave. Devices like mobile phones, microwave oven, remote control and scanning machines use electromagnetic radiation, such as radio wave, microwave, infrared wave and x-ray. But we cannot see any of these radiations. Let's discuss about the properties of light. Light is invisible form of energy. When light energy falls on the objects, we really cannot see it. Even when light bounces off from the surface of objects, we do not see it. That's why we say that light is invisible. Then, when we can see things, We can see the things when this bounce of light energy enters in our eyes. The sensation produced by this light energy helps our brain to see. Thus, light is invisible form of energy which causes in us a sensation of vision. Let's see an activity. Sound waves need a medium like air to travel. For this, you need two glass jars. In one glass jar, air is present and if the bell is ringing in it, the boy is able to hear the sound of bell. But in the second jar, we have to make it vacuum by with the help of vacuum pump. And the bell is ringing in it, the boy is unable to hear the sound of bell. This proves that the sound waves need a medium like air to travel. Let's have a fun. You have to make a toy telephone with the help of paper cups matchstick and thread. It's very simple. You can make it and talk with your friends. The another property is light can travel through a vacuum. Light does not need any material medium to travel. It can even travel through a vacuum. And the light from the sun is able to travel through space before entering earth's atmosphere. The vast space between the sun and the earth is a vacuum. How fast does light travel? It travels with a constant speed of 3 10 to the power 8 miles per second in vacuum. Nothing in the universe can travel faster than or even as fast as light. Sunlight takes approximately 8 minutes 32 seconds to reach Earth. Importance of light in our life. Light is essential for the growth and the development of life. It is the main source of energy for animals and plants. The process of photosynthesis will not take place without sunlight. This can also disturb all food chains because the food chain starts from the producer that is plant. It affects oxygen supply in the air too. We are able to see this beautiful world around because of light. Reflection of light. As you can see in the figure, the bouncing off and change in the direction of light on striking a plane mirror is called reflection of light. And reflection enables us to see things and their colors. What is the color of light? Natural light often referred to as white light, but it is actually composed of different colors. Different objects absorb certain colors of light and reflect others. The reflected color decides the color of the object. Let us explain this with the help of We understand this with the help of this chart Absorption and the reflection Object R It absorbs green and the blue color and reflect red color And it appears to us as red In the same way object G It absorbs red and blue color and reflect us green color Sources of light a source of a light is an object from which light is coming out. There are two types. First is the natural source of light. For example, sir, sun and the fireflies. Second is the man-made sources of light. And the examples are light and candle and an electric bulb. Kinds of sources of light. Hot sources of light. 
we first become hot and then emit light example sun and the cold sources of light they emit light with their temperature not getting higher than the environmental temperature for example leds in your house some definition luminous objects the objects that produce their own light they are called luminous for example a torch a candle flame the sun and electric bulb and stars non luminous objects that do not produce their own light for example tables chair trees books moon earth and other planets bioluminescence a natural phenomenon in which living organisms are seen to emit light from their bodies for example fireflies glowworms and jellyfish now the question will come in your mind why are the moon and the other planets considered non luminous objects because the planets in the solar system and their moons reflect the light of the sun falling on them they do not emit light of their own you may think that can a non luminous objects be converted into a luminous object yes we can when some non luminous objects are heated to a high temperature they start emitting light for example a metal is heated to a very high temperature it becomes luminous and emit red light if heating is continued a metal turns yellow and then white how do we see non luminous objects non luminous objects reflect the light they receive from luminous objects this reflected light reaches our eyes we can see in the figure now another and the important property of light that it travels in a straight line is known as the rectilinear propagation of light a substance through which light propagate act as medium on this basis different materials can be categorized into three types first is the transparent material through which light can pass completely for example air water glass second is the translucent material through which light can propagate partially for example frosted glass and the butter paper third is the opaque material through which light cannot propagate for example wall wood or stone and these opaque materials they come in contact with the light they cast shadows see these activities they are showing that the rectilinear propagation of light in the first activity the boy is able to see the light through a straight pipe but in the second he is unable to see the light because this pipe is not straight we represent the path traveled by light in a straight line with the help of a ray of light the arrow head indicates the direction in which light travels see the three diagrams are here the parallel beam a narrow group of light rays called as beam and the rays are moving away from each other in a beam of light from a small source are called divergent rays as in the beam when rays of light meet at a common point they are called convergent rays as you can see in the figure c thanks for watching bye kids